Whoa. What is this? Well, hello there. Ah! Ah! Are you a genie? Yeah, you could say that. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. So are you? Uh, you know, what is a genie? But like, you look like a genie and I feel like you just appeared out of nowhere when I touched that weird thing. I've been called many things. But I don't really like labels. Yeah, yes. Whatever. Do I get wishes or not? Probably, yeah. Go okay! Ahead. Go ahead. This is, I've been waiting for this. Oh uh, yeah, I bet you have. I wish for an AR-15. <laughs> oh! You are awesome! <laughs> I get more wishes, all right? I want a suppressor! Uh, okay. I want a suppressor! I wish for a suppressor! Dang! Oh! Yes! Ooh! I wish for full auto and world peace! Yeah, you can only have one. Think about it. You know how this works. Three wishes. Make the right choice. You know the right choice. You know the right choice. Think about it. I know the you know right the right choice. choice. Yeah. Yeah. I've got it. Alright. <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Big Richard 42069 asks, Matt, does it make sense for a sniper rifle to be full auto? We were like, I don't, I don't know, Big Rich. We should find out though. So we scoured the world for all the parts to make a full auto sniper rifle. Oh. And here she is, boys. We wanted to give a full auto sniper rifle the best chance of making sense, so we picked the best parts that we could think of to make that work. Starting tip to butt, we have a 5.56 suppressor from Allen Arms Tactical. This is a over barrel suppressor. Beautiful, it's a, it's a Mark 12 type suppressor. We have a free floating carbon fiber handguard with a stainless steel barrel underneath. We have an Atlas bipod up front so you can really get that, you know, that DMR life going. We have upper and lower receiver from Sons of Liberty Gunworks. We have bolt carrier group from Bear Arms. We have a loophole Mark 5 HD 2 to 10 optic with a canted loophole Delta Point Pro red dot all on a Reptilia mount. We put a Geisley trigger up here and What's that? well that has safe fire I don't know if it goes any further. Oh, it does. And it's full auto. So we made a package that can hit things at a long range, but also a package that can dump a lot of ammo and do some room clearing. So today we're gonna test and see if it does make any sense to have a full auto sniper rifle. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I just realized this thing's missing something, but thankfully our sponsor of this episode is Olight. They want to introduce their new product, the Warrior X4, with 2600 lumens, an impressive beam distance of 630 meters, and peak beam intensity of almost 100,000 candela. This light has dual charging, so in addition to their signature MCC charging right there, it also has a hidden Type-C charging port right there that you can just plug in and get her charged up. They also have a magnetic switch that hooks to the tailpiece and lets you control the light output with ease. Tail switch can differentiate between light and heavy presses so you can control your lighting and it has a disorienting strobe light for critical moments. And lifetime warranty. It's available in this camouflage and matte black. Let's see how she runs on Simi. Let's see how she runs on non-semi. Little gassy. So we have a full auto DMR sniper type rifle in a tornado. Let's see if we can do some short range stuff. Let's run it like we're doing through a house, clearing targets with the red dot here first, and then we'll move on and see if we can do some long range stuff. See how she does on a little short work. Ah! My bad. Watch out for that llama. Watch out for that. 
this thing would successfully uh, do any short work you need it to do very well. Now let's scoot back a little bit and see what we can do with a little long work. Oh, I forgot to show you how good this Olight looks at nighttime. One second, uh, turn the lights off. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Whoa. Okay, turn the lights back on. Extreme long range. We're at a million yards, definitely not a hundred. So I went ahead and cranked our, our scope up and uh, let's headshot this guy. Oh, that's a headshot. That's a headshot. That's a headshot. Let's hit these little ones over on the left. That's a hit. That's a hit. Let's go ahead and take out the hostage taker. Got him. Let's go ahead and take out the hostage. <laughs> Got him. That's freaking That's good. good. All right, so now I think there's two things to think about. Full auto in a sniper rifle makes sense when you're doing close quarter stuff, and then you switch to semi-auto when you're going to the long range stuff, but does it make sense to have it on full auto in a longer range scenario? Are you asking me? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. I think so. I mean, like, if you know your distance, right? And I know this is kind of short, but... One million yards. One million yards. Uh, you can, like, lay down some pretty precise cover fire. Yeah. So like say you got, you got guys yeah. over... Let's say they're at 300 yards. And you just want to, like, pop some rounds in their general direction accurately. Maybe or hit them. Their, maybe scare them. In their general chest area. All right, let's... I'm going to shoot this green guy. That's a full-size, man-sized target at... About a hundred, we're at about 115 yards right now. I thought it was a million. I mean, a million and 15 yards. Can we hit him more than once? I'll do a, let's try to do like two or three. Dang, that was cool. Oh, dude. Don't, don't. All right, two's pretty easy. Can we get three? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right. Oh, that was awesome. Can we? Yeah, okay, that one, they were starting to walk pretty far off. I'm gonna try to hold it super still and see if we can get more than that. Nope, I pulled off to the right then. Dang. Those are all on. That's so crazy. And we're out. At 115 or a million and 15 yards, full auto will definitely put multiple hits on target. Yeah. You wanna push it back a little further? Uh, we got room. Let's go back further. We're at 200, I mean 2 million. Let's just do a semi first. Yeah, I just headshotted him. Cool. Okay. Can we put two rounds on target at 200 yards? Nope. One of them. Pulling right. Can't tell where the second one's going. Let's try to hold this thing real still. I can just tell it's bouncing. That one felt good. Oh, we jammed. Uh-oh. We are getting very dirty. Look at those rounds. Very yucky. Yeah, she gassy. Yep. I'm not good at putting two rounds on target at 200 yards, I guess. But it's not going far. I mean, it looks in my scope. My scope is not moving enough that it looks like I'm coming off target very far. So I would assume it's inches around it. I just can't figure out which direction the second one's going. I tried holding on all different sides of that target, so I'd hit the first round and then it'd hopefully bounce into the second, but never got a second round ding. We are in Jenna's office now. Uh, 350 yards away from our target. I mean, 350 million yards away from our target. <laughs> and uh, let's see what we can do here. Not full auto. <laughs> hit dead center. That one hit maybe low. Look, I hit dirt in front. You got it. Yeah, it spun it. You got it again. Yep, those are hitting now. Just had a whole little higher. Our target's hanging on one chain, so it's like getting real narrow. Um, whoops. You got a good cheat rock guy? That could have been anybody. That was cool. Bro, no full auto in the building. That wasn't full auto, this is full auto.
No, I'm gonna definitely... What are we doing? Huh? Are you gonna explain? Why explain when they can watch? <laughs> You're so low. <laughs> I went through it, it just doesn't, it doesn't explode very much. I also missed it with 28 rounds. Oh no, pineapple! Oh, pineapple! Oh no, watermelon! Ah, watermelon! I shot yeah. behind it most times. It's, it's pooping uh, oil. <laughs> All out of the side of the gun. <laughs> it's out of ammo. Oh, we need more ammo. I got a range bag here with a couple mags. We'll use those in a minute. But let me tell you about this range bag. This can be yours. We got Demolition Ranch range bags. They come with a Demo Ranch hat, a Demo Ranch flag, as well as some stickers and a patch. And uh, because Olai's sponsoring this video, they wanted to throw in some extra stuff. So we're going to pick 15 of y'all. Five are going to get the Warrior X and 10 are going to get the Balder S. Uh, five of them have a green laser, five have a blue laser. We're gonna randomly pick some of y'all, throwing that in your bag and shipping out. But it is $160 value for 95 bucks. Linked in description below. Let's go shoot some stuff. Oh no, charging pick, where? You missed. Let's try it again. He charged you. <laughs> he charged you. Oh no, charging pick. Oh, that is bad. Nice. One time, right in the spine. Oh no, Matt. Somebody who has pronouns in their bio. Oh no! <laughs> Got him. Them. Got they. Oh no! Is diet, diet ginger ale! Diet soda! No! no diet, diet soda! Get. I flipped it the wrong way! <laughs> The world is better. <laughs> hey, Mikey! That's a nice shirt. What is that? It's body armor. I got it from BunkerBrandy.com. Oh, yeah. I see it linked in the description below. Is it bulletproof? <laughs> no. Well, if you want to buy those shirts, we'll put some bullet holes in every one that we sell. Um, disclaimer, they are not bulletproof. We have clearly demonstrated that a full auto sniper rifle is not only useful, but it's necessary. Oh no, tropical fruit. Let me know what you think about this build, what it needs, uh, what you'd add to it if you're gonna make the ultimate full auto, like close combat rifle and sniper rifle all in one package. The rifle that can do it all. What would you add or take off of this rifle? Thanks for watching Dibbles Ranch. This is our take on it. I love you. I'll see you next time. Messed it up. Bye. <laughs>
it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. <laughs>